a bit of cat surgery today as Jessica fell down the stairs this morning. Ass assumed that we... Uh, uh, assumed like To have fallen down the stairs. She was at the bottom when I came uh, back at uh, just after lunch. So she can't walk on that poor anymore, yeah, so we're so putting her... Uh, we're strapping it up. We're strapping it up, yes. We're proper nurses. We're with the oldest man in town now. Am I? This is really the field. First steps outside in a long time. In a long time. I've, I've been, been out today. Oh, he's been out today in his slippers. I was out yesterday in my slippers in Bradford. And now he's. But that's like, allowable in Bradford, isn't it, with wearing your slippers? I guess so. And now he's limping all the way up Town Street to go to Morrison's. It's good, this is. This is the best This it's is been. progress. It is big progress. God, the cat and him both having <laughs> yeah. dodgy both legs. Both our right legs. It'll be me Now next. that says something, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, hang on. What are you doing? <laughs> just, grabbing, <laughs> just, just grabbing your leg. Oh, Lord. Oh, this is one poorly cat. Oh, bless her. She's been ill all day. She's slowly recovering now, but... Ew! You've got water on your nose. Mmm. You'll survive. I am pissed the hell off. I just dropped my phone, the whole screen has shattered, and now the screen is like peeling away like dead skin. And that sucks. That's gonna set me back at least 60 pounds. You know, that 60 pounds could have gone to the world so many other better things like summer clothes. I am so pissed off. I was just putting my phone in the selfie stick and then I didn't put it in properly, so the sort of shatter. I can't say. I can't even say. I'm lost for words of how pissed off I am right now. But basically, the end of the selfie stick sort of came off. Well, I didn't put the phone in properly, so the phone dropped out and slid across the floor. A really smooth concrete floor, so it was sliding for quite some time. And now it squeaks. I don't know if you could hear that, but that's it squeaking, and it's really annoyed me. And I don't want to get it fixed, and I don't want to pay sixty pounds. I was having such a good day as well. Look, even the camera's gone all dodgy now. It's going all flary and grainy and... Oh, that's really, really annoyed me. Can you hear it squeak again? Look at that. Listen to that. iPhone screens aren't meant to do that. I'm not even usually one for dropping my phone. I've only dropped it once before. I had an iPhone 5 for... Oh, sorry. The power button just came up. I've had an iPhone 5 for two years and I didn't drop it once. The screen didn't shatter or anything. I've had this iPhone a year and a half now, dropped it once, got it fixed, and now dropped it again, and oh, bugger, it's pissed me off. This is so annoying. It's even worse than what I dropped it before, like, you can, like, see the internals of the iPhone, and I'm actually surprised that it's still working, it's absolutely shocking. Apple, this is to you for the quality of your phones. In other words, I'm actually looking forward to this weekend, because Game of Thrones starts on Sunday, Get in! That gets me so excited. And plus I'm going out with Dad somewhere tomorrow. And on Sunday I'm off to my grands, so that should make for an interesting vlog. So, oh, I'm so pissed off about this phone! i tell you one thing now, Dad isn't going to be happy either. Well, it's going to be me paying for it, but... Oh, he's paying for my, my phone contract, so it's basically his phone, technically. Oh, I am so pissed off. There's some good news also. Jessica, the cat, who's 21, has started eating and drinking again. So, like, earlier on, according to Dad, she only, like, ate, like, two bites of food and then sort of gave up. But now she's, like, eating two whole packets of food, so she's sort of recovering and drinking water again. But she's jumping out of beds and stuff like that, which, you know, she's just, like, basically broken a paw. Well, not broken it, but sort of fractured it. So, I don't know why she does that, but it's Jessica. She does what she wants. Uh, that's just me, how pissed off I am about the phone. But it's so annoying though, because I was considering just to stay in home and do vlogs there, but, you know, I was trying to make it interesting by at least coming out of here and, you know, that's Leeds there, and trying to make it interesting, but I should have stayed at home. If I stayed at home, none of this would have happened. Oh, fuck. Here you go, I've actually recovered some of the evidence. Here you go, that's part of my iPhone screen, that's the uh, little hole that you can see there, that's the uh, hole for the camera. So the whole camera is, like, visible now, and it's like... It's all messed up, so not good. On the other side, uh, in drama, we've actually made really good progress with our teachers now. 
So I've been like reassigned the role of Mrs. Parry for if anyone's actually done Teachers the Play by John Godber, I think it is. Or is that something else? I'm not too sure. But there you go. I, I've learned all Mrs. Parry's line and we've basically done the whole play now. It's just rehearsing and rehearsing and rehearsing. We've got one week and five days before we actually have to perform it. And before then, we're showing it off to parents and the other years in school. So I guess that's actually a bit more scary than doing it to the examiner, I guess. Because, you know, it's a whole group of people compared to just one person. But I don't know. And today in form, we got our little slips for prom, where it says, like, the best person for this. So it's basically like the Romeo and Juliet of the year, the best dancer of the year, the funniest person of the year, boy and girl. And we got those today, and so that was pretty interesting. And after that, uh, loads of people came up to me and said that they're voting me for legend. I'm not a legend. I haven't done anything for our year. I'm just the sort of guy who like, roams around and generic. So thanks to everyone who's voting me legend in our year. But there was one for the guy with the biggest hat, and that is no doubt one of my best mates, Ali Karim. He is the sweetest, kindest guy I know, and I know, I think everyone's basically voted for him. And for him and Romeo and Juliet Award too, he goes out with a girl called Annie Smith, and they're really cute. So they both deserve that, and Ali definitely deserves the Kindest Heart Award. And I don't know if you'll ever watch this, I don't know if I'll ever tell my friends that I'm a vlogger, if one day... And if one day he watches this vlog, hi Ali, I love you man. I'm doing all these vlogs and I'm just looking at my phone like, it's shattered. Cry. Anyway, after all the trauma that has been today, I'd just like to thank you all for watching. Subscribe to my channel, Twitter, Facebook, they're all in the links below. And my iPhone.